Hello viewers, reporting for NewsZimbabwe.com, I am Makana Kamasenyama. Politicians, political analysts and ordinary citizens have expressed mixed feelings over the continued celebration of the country's unit accord, which they say has been overtaken by both time and events. Zimbabwe this Saturday marks 31 years since the signing of the unity accord between former liberation parties ZANU and PF ZAPU, which merged into what is now ZANU PF. The accord signed between once bitter rivals Robert Mugabe, who led ZANU, and the late Joshua Nkomo, who led PF ZAPU, ended hostilities which saw the killing of an estimated 20,000 civilians in Matebeleland and Midlands provinces in what is commonly known as Gukura Hundi. But the passage of time has seen the Unity Accord fail the tests as the country has been torn apart by successive conflict episodes mostly pitting ZANU-PF and the main opposition MDC. In an interview with New Zim TV, MDC spokesperson Jacob Mafume dismissed Unit Day, saying those who were killed by Mugabe's military before the signing of the document must be compensated. Everyone who is harmed by anyone in the world is entitled to compensation. If you harm me, I am entitled to compensation adequately. If the government admits that it did wrong, or an individual admits that they did wrong, then they must compensate. There are no flag gates there. It is an indictment on the nation that we have united the perpetrator and the victim. It is like uh, uniting an X and a tree after the X has cut the tree. And you say there is unit. It's okay, let's move together because the past is forgotten. We have to move forward. It is, it, is, it is bad practice and it perpetuates impunity and that is why things are repeating themselves because there is no compensation when these things happen. Compensation must be given for the victims. It is said that they haven't been given up to now and they cannot be total healing if you have not compensated. So there is never total unity if you are working with the person whom you have beaten up and you have not taken to hospital. We need that to be addressed and there won't be any floodgates. There are ways of calculating the compensation and it can be given to people and it will be done. Ordinary Zimbabweans interviewed likewise seemed to be agreeing with Mafume. I don't think there is a unit. Uh, the unit doesn't make any sense. Can the ordinary person asking a kwani sugura rama? Can the ordinary person asking a kwani sugu endesa wana buchikoro? The ordinary person asking a kwani sugu wana marim bengi. There is no unit because pakati kati pakati zika pe moyo. There is head. It is usual. My politicians we hear go to Zuru Parliament. Vanga varu ita baasare go to chukuda mochikare chukuda gym. So. And that doesn't really uh, express the, the whole essence of unit because can a tributary as a unit, even my parliamentarians, they should be together with us, the ordinary person. Because you can have a motor car, mama, those have to allowances, wachwana ma gym, ma iPads, is to suffer, at this one can careful. That doesn't make any sense. My political parties are equal to Apa political party, the Aguda Guramba Chingotunga, a Pasisina Kunyatso Batana Kuripo, that Sam Murkona Sunus Rukungueta Chinja Chinja Chinja. However, political analyst Richard Mahomba saw otherwise, saying the Unity Accord was still relevant, adding that President Emerson Munangagwa was doing all he could to keep the unity. Unity Day affirms a memory of uh, of integration an integration that was uh, conceived out of uh, the despair of our people's unity at the behest uh, of uh, neo-colonial whims to dividing us as a people it is a day uh, which owes its significance to the selfless sacrifice uh, of uh, founding nationalists in the form of Robert Mkabe and Joshua Nkomo. 
in the sense that it is a day that um, enables us to reflect their commitment to unity. But to those of us with a profound leaning to the narrative of national peace, healing and reconciliation, this day is important in the sense that it coincides with uh, the Second Republic's establishment of the National Peace and Reconciliation Commission, which uh, is uh, taking up the mandate and taking up the baton from where the elusive aspects of uh, uh, the Unity Accord uh, reside, in the sense that it uh, seeks to audit cases of uh, violence, uh, cases of uh, emphatic binaries that uh, created conflict since uh, the independence of Zimbabwe. Therefore, the CS commemorations of Unity Day come at a time when our nationhood has matured to a point of reflecting on the past wrongs and against an immediate backdrop of the establishment of, of course, the 1 August uh, Commission, uh, which was looking at uh, yet another uh, polarizing tide or to the national project. So it's an important commemoration which comes against the backdrop of uh, our government's commitment to synchronizing matters of uh, integration, cohesion, and nation building at large. The Unity Accord, as if by design, is a significant day on the country's political calendar which does not have any national festivities that accompany its celebrations. Other national holidays such as Independence Day, Defense Forces Day, Heroes Day, all have activities lined up across the country to celebrate them. Could this also be a sign of how government feels about the day? Well, that is food for thought. Reporting for NewZimbabwe.com, I am Makanaka Masenyama. For these and more stories, do visit our website www.newzimbabwe.com and our YouTube channel, Newsing TV.